As a 1986 graduate of Casadega Valley Central School, Marty Nichols played football and was a Section 6 wrestling champion for the Cougars. Following high school, Marty was a four-year wrestler for Ithaca College, where he was a national qualifier all four years, helping the Bombers win their first national championship and earning Ithaca's Jack Stanbro Hart Award. As a senior, he recorded a record 32-5 and five as Ithaca defended its national title, and he was awarded the Clyde Whitney Cole Scholar-Athlete Award after graduating sixth on Ithaca's career list with 115 victories and 42 defeats. From 1990 to 92, he was assistant wrestling coach for Cornell, Cornell University, helping the Big Red win the Ivy League championship. And after a short stint at Ithaca High School, he returned to his beloved Ithaca College as an assistant coach in 94 and became the head coach for the 1995-96 season. He just completed his 26th season as head coach of the Ithaca Bombers, where he has coached 10 national champions, 80 All-Americans. In 2011, he was named NCAA Coach of the Year. In 2018-2020, he was named Mideast Region Coach of the Year, and 2018 was also named the National Wrestling Coaches Association Coach of the Year. For all his accolades, Marty was inducted into Ithaca College Athletic Hall of Fame in 97 and the National Wrestling Coaches Hall of Fame in 2018, and now he can add the 2023 inductee as the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame to his resume. Ladies and gentlemen, Marty Nichols. Thanks, Chip. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to thank the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame and committee and all of its members uh, for this honor. But also like to congratulate this year's inductees on their outstanding athletic careers and achievements. Thanks, guys. Um, I continue to be blessed by an amazing support group of family, friends, teammates, and coaches, many who made it here tonight back in the long center table over there. Thank you to my parents, Dave and Donna Nichols, who are here with us tonight. They've been there for all my competitions as a high school and college athlete. They continue to this day as my biggest fans as they come to all my Ithaca College events. And I'm sure they'll be there this weekend when we host the NCA uh, regionals at Ithaca College. My older sisters, Holly, Jill, Jennifer, for toughening me up when I was a kid. And my youngest sister, Tanya, for the endless hours she spent in the hot gyms during my tournaments. There are so many people to thank, it would be impossible to mention all of them by name in this short speech. As a successful coach, I'm often asked how I did it. How did I get here? In my life, as well as my career, I've had so many incredible opportunities. I often wonder myself, was it luck, hard work, my network of people? Probably a combination of all three. As luck would have it, I was born and raised in Chautauqua County, home to one of the top athletic programs in western New York. Growing up in Casadega, although a small class C school, it held within its walls an elite group of men who selflessly helped me and many of my peers achieve greatness well beyond high school. Three of those men were my high school football coach, Dan Massey, and my wrestling coaches, Cliff Blum and John Ogbeni. John is here with us tonight. John, thank you for the nomination for the Hall of Fame. I think he's about, there he is, John. John and Cliff taught me how to push through pain, fatigue, and adversity, and how to build resilience. As a junior in high school, a defining moment for me came at the Section 6 high school state qualifiers. I was favored to win and lost in the finals by a fall. Coach Blum and Coach Idemy helped put me back together and assured me that with continued hard work and a, few fo and a new focus, the outcome would be different the following year. The next year, I won the Section 6 state qualifiers and ultimately finished fifth in the state of New York my senior season. Following my fifth place finish at the New York State Championships, I had a strong interest from Lock Haven and Syracuse University. Art Asquith, my physical education teacher, previously coached baseball at Ithaca College and graduated from Ithaca College, encouraged me to apply and take a visit. Art is with us today as well. Thanks, Art. It was a life-changing decision. Here's where I first met John Murray 
and assistant coach Dave Alble. While competing at Ithaca College, I became a Scholar All-American, a three-time All-American, and was part of two national championship teams. While at Ithaca, I had the opportunity to learn from one of the greatest wrestlers in U.S. wrestling history. Our assistant coach, Dave Aubel, a former two-time NCAA champion, an Olympian, a world champion from Cornell University. His method of teaching developed an unmatched sense of hard work and discipline in me. Aubel was the mastermind behind our program's success. His elite coaching style was so technical and detailed, breaking down every move from the mundane to the most complex with persistence and articulation. His winning system continues to be an integral part of how we coach today at Ithaca. With Coach Albo sitting in your corner, you felt like there was no way you could lose. My network of people started to take shape under head coach John Murray. John was a master recruiter and a program organizer. Coach Murray not only recruited me as an athlete, but again as his head assistant coach while I was coaching across the hill at Cornell University. I'm incredibly grateful for the two seasons I spent at Cornell. Working with Jack Spates and Rob Cole, we jump-started the Cornell wrestling program that most people know today. We won both the Ivy League championship and the EIWA championships for the first time in 33 years. Upon returning to Ithaca College with John Murray for the next season, I was given a comprehensive roadmap to continue the strong tradition of winning that John had developed. Now in my 30th year coaching, I've coached 80 NCAA All-Americans, 10 NCAA champions, along with countless conference, state, regional, and NCAA Coach of the Year honors. It could not happen without a lot of hard work and a lot of luck, coaching hundreds of student athletes. One of my student athletes is here tonight, Chris Schimmick. Some people probably, probably know Chris. He's the coach at JCC. He's been doing outstanding work there. He actually had six guys qualify, six athletes qualify for the end for the NJCA National Championship next week. Congratulations, Chris. <clears throat> to my daughters, Anna and Sophia, who are here with us, who are in eighth grade and ninth grade, varsity swimmers, exceptional lacrosse players. I hope someday that they will reflect on their athletic experiences and find meaning and appreciation for all the hard work they put in along with the amazing relationships that they will build while training and competing. And finally, my biggest thank you goes to my beautiful wife, Stacy. She's the one that makes this all work, juggling her own business, my insane schedule, and making sure girls, the girls have everything they need to be successful. No success in the world is worth it unless I can share it with you, Stacy. I love you. I'm gonna close tonight. I'm going to close tonight by quoting, uh, giving you a quote from Mark Cuban. No one is going to know or care about your failures, and neither should you. All you should do is learn from them and those around you. All that matters in business is that you get it right once. Then everyone can tell you how lucky you are. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, Marty, wait, wait, wait here. You're going to get a picture here. Get a picture, and then I'll give you your goodies. Thank you.